All right, so here is our second example for the guided notes on projectile motion and such. Um, so example two, since you're in a scientific mood, you decide to run another experiment. You ball up your pet hedgehog and shoot him straight up in the air with an oversized slingshot. See the picture here? Um, and you shoot it at an initial velocity of 120 feet per second good slingshot. Um, so in order to do this we need our formula and remember our formula was negative 16 t squared if it has gravity involved and it's pulling down um, plus v o t that's your initial velocity times t plus h sub zero. So for this problem um, we want to make sure that before we start anything even before I start doing reading any of the questions, I know I'm going to need my three formulas because I could use any of these three formulas. So first thing, we already got this one. Oh wait, we're going to set this one up. Plus, so VOT is your initial velocity and it says you shot upward at 120 feet per second. Now if it would have said downward and you're like you were on top of the building, kind of like the cat and you're feeling extra cruel, when you shot a slingward a slingshot downward, you would have made that a negative. So, because in our problem, up means positive, down means negative. Okay, and the reason that's negative, it's pulling down towards Earth. It's gravity's effect. Oops, I'm going to leave that off there for now and just put the T. Plus, your starting height. And your starting height, it looks like it's at ground level. Okay, we're going to go ahead and call that even and call it ground level. So a little nicer version without all the scribbles and without a plus zero. Negative 16 t squared plus 120 t. Okay, that's our equation for the height of this hedgehog at any time. Now, while I'm at it, I might as well find my equation for velocity of this hedgehog, right? Using our power rule, you multiply that in front, plus 120. And while I'm at it, acceleration, which is negative 32. And then the units on these are feet, feet per second, and feet per second squared. So those are the three units. I don't think we've asked about acceleration yet, but we could. All right, so moving on, let's try these out. Oh, let's answer the questions. First question is, what is his velocity at one second, three seconds, and six seconds? Well, that's pretty easy. I just got to use the right equation. So for part A, I'm going to use my velocity equation, which was negative 32t plus 120 on the other page. And it's going to be feet per second for my units. Now, why are we doing this? I want to see, I want to actually try to picture it before we do it. If this guy at zero seconds starts off at 120 feet per second, like you launch him up, whee! He's going to love it. Hedgehogs love flying. They told me. So you're going to fling it up. I mean, think of Sonic. What's going to be, what's going to happen at one second? Is it going to be more than 120? Is it going to stay at 120? Is it going to be less? And then think of what's going to happen maybe at three seconds. Is it going to be moving faster or slower? Um, we know what comes up must come down. And then what's going to happen at six seconds? You know, unless this hedgehog just flies out of our atmosphere. So velocity at one second. is going to equal um, 120 minus 32. So it's going to be 88 feet per second. Okay, so that's one second in. So it's already slowing down because you shot it upward. Um, velocity at, I think it's at three. Yeah. At three seconds, you're going to be negative 32 times three plus 120. 120, wait, negative 32 times 3 plus 120. I just typed that in, and I get 24. Oh, it's slowing down big time. So it started off really fast. One second in, it was down to 88 feet per second, which is still arguably fast. Now it's getting slower. It's getting up near the top, 24 feet per second, but is it still moving up or down? Well, since this velocity, which has direction, is positive, 
it's still moving up. So this is fast. This is a little slower, but it's still going up. And at six seconds, we're going to plug that in. I'm just going to go back up here and change that to a six. Right? Why work more? And you get negative 72 feet per second. So this is cruising in a downward fashion. Right? Woo! So it's coming back down to, to Earth. Hopefully you're there to catch it. That would be cool. All right. When will the hedgehog hit the ground? All right. Or when will you make a diving catch right before it hits the ground, right? You're like, no, hedgehog. I'm going to catch you. Your arms are out. You're laying out for it. Or you're doing a dive. I don't know why your head's at that angle. But yeah, you're going to catch that hedgehog at the very end. Don't worry, it's safe. When will it hit the ground? When I see hit the ground, I have to know in my head, oh man, what's that mean? Does it deal with height, velocity, or acceleration? When I say hit the ground, to me it means when height equals zero. A pretty classic question. Um, so part B is hit the ground, so height, so I need my height equation, which was negative 16 t squared plus 120 t plus nothing. All right, so I want to hit the ground. I'm going to put a zero in there for height. Okay, and um, solve this. Now, you could do a lot of things, but one thing you could do is um, take out a t, because you can do quadratic formula and you'll get the answer, but why not get the answer quicker by taking out a t? Because if you can factor something, then either t equals zero or this thing equals zero. That's an algebra thing, so if you didn't get that, go do some uh, Khan Academy factoring practice. I'm going to solve this, so I'll take the 16t to the other side because I like positives. And I'll divide both sides by 16. So whatever, 120 divided by 16 is. These are kind of fun problems. It's I like them because they make you um, 7.5 seconds. So it takes 7.5 seconds to hit the ground. I like them because they don't just come out and tell you what formula to use. And you have to set up the formulas. And, you know, they're real-life projectile problems. So I like that. I threw out the zero because that was when he was touching the ground, you know, before you shot him on the way up. All right, so part C, what is the hedgehog's acceleration at t equals 4? So when 4 seconds happen, when we're 4 seconds into the flight, what's its acceleration? Well, now I'm not using that. I'm not using that. I'm going to use this equation, which is simply a of t equals negative 32. It doesn't matter if they said at 4 seconds, at 1 second, at 20 seconds. It doesn't matter because um, acceleration is always the same. And that's because gravity is constantly pulling down. And you don't get to like take a break from gravity. right? So your answer is just negative 32 feet per second squared. It was kind of a trick question, but I wanted to come across it to kind of have you resist the urge to do anything with that 4 seconds. Because it's not, there's no t in here to plug it into and the other thing to remind you of is gravity is always constant because we're on a you know big old mass of earth which is round sorry flat earthers you're just wrong um here's something else i want to find um you know how it started off with a positive velocity right it was like 120 then it got a little smaller 88 24 and then eventually it starts coming back down faster and faster, right? So there must be a time when it's at its height. And that's not a question on here, so I'm going to add it. I'd like you to add it. When does it reach its peak height? This is kind of a good question. When would it hit its very highest height? Well, think about the speeds. You're going fast. You're going slower, 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 slower. You'll get to the very top before you start getting negative, 
and Wiley e. Coyote style, you will have a tiny bit of time where your velocity equals zero. It's not like you wouldn't notice it, but if you've ever thrown a ball in the air, technically it stops for an instant before it starts heading back down. So if you're ever asked for its peak height, all you gotta do is for maximum height, I just need to find when the velocity equals zero. Okay, does that make sense, hopefully? So I just take my V of T formula, which was negative 32 T plus 120, and I set it equal to zero, because I want to find the very peak is when its velocity is zero before it turns to negative velocity and starts coming back down to Earth. So I'm going to take the 32 over here, T over here, so I like positives. I'll divide both sides by uh, 32. So whatever 120 divided by 32 is, 3.75 seconds. That is when it hits its highest height. Now if I added another question and said, how high does this thing go? Because that could have been one. I could have asked letter D. Heck, I'm going to ask letter E. What is the max height? That's a valid question to ask. If I ever ask you what is max height, you basically have to answer two questions. When is max height? By setting the velocity to zero. And then use the answer in your height equation. I like this question because it actually is making you use two of these equations, these important equations. Okay, so if I asked what max height was, I already found the answer for when it happens. I just need to use my h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 120t, and I plug in a 3.75. So you get your calculator out and carefully type this in with 3.75 in there. Ran out of room sideways. And your height, let's see what it is. Uh, 3.75, let's see, it's negative 16 times 3.75 squared minus 120 times 3.75. Boom. Did I type something wrong? Oh, I. Yes, I did. It's a plus. Gosh darn it. I'm like, what? That doesn't make sense. It can't be negative height. It'll be like down in the ground. And I hope this hedgehog doesn't go down in the ground. 225. What are my units? 225 feet in this problem. So it goes 225 feet in the air. It takes 3.75 seconds to get there. Acceleration is always this. There's the total time. Um, so kind of cool stuff. Um, anyway, that's the video. Hope you, uh, enjoy these problems. They're pretty good. We are, we do not promote cruelty to animals though. I love animals. All right. That's it. I'll talk to you later.